Hi guys, this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have such an impromptu video because I absolutely have to clarify something and it has to be done ASAP. Today I heard from VCA. I'm not gonna name names. I'm not gonna get myself into a pickle again and I'm gonna explain everything in this video. Let me just start by saying that I have times and times again sent you to the essays that I love that I have worked with, that I can back up with a positive review or a feedback. And the essays that I have recommended and sent you to are, drum roll please, from the Rodeo Drive Boutique, it's Oliver and Lance. From the Bellagio, it is Alberto. And from the South Coast Plaza, it's Yaying and Jack. So I have sent you to those five people so many times, essays. Now, after I posted my review, not on Google, not on Yelp, which would 100% get Cameron in trouble, there is a rumor now circulating. So the rumor has it that Yaying and I are in cahoots, that Yaying and I are friends, that I get some sort of preferential treatment from her. Seriously, can I just post a review? Can I be entitled to sharing my opinion with my audience on my own platform? Mind you, not on Yelp, not on Google, on my own little channel. And now I have been told that I might ruin it for me in the long run with reviewing an essay. And I understand why I have been told that, but that got me so upset because I have the right to share my review. That wasn't my opinion, that was a review. And I've never ever done that before because I have so much patience for bullshit. I am Ukrainian and I have very tough skin and things don't get to me easily, okay? And if I had preferential treatment from Yaying, I would be sitting here covered in pieces that are way harder to get. Mind you, I got my three motif magic malachite earrings from the Rodeo Drive Boutique from my essay Oliver. I got my 10 motif in hammered rose gold from the Rodeo Drive Boutique. I got my rose gold hammered vintage Alhambra earrings from the Bellagio. I got my, what else is so hard to get? I got my diamond pave pendant from Dennis from the South Coast Plaza. I got my five motif bracelet with diamond pave and guilloche from Oliver for my birthday. I got my magic diamond pave ring from the Rodeo Drive Boutique. I got so many pieces from the Rodeo Drive Boutique that I had to get my holiday pendant from them. So if it was so easy to get preferential treatment uh, from a somewhat newer employee like Yaying, I would love to sign up because this is nonsense. And I have a feeling who speculated that we're friends. I think this is such a narcissistic response one-on-one. Oh, they must be friends. I couldn't have done possibly something wrong. I couldn't have mistreated her. Go read my comments on my previous video. That video stays. That video, hi honey, that video is a review on you mistreating clients of the brand. They absolutely adore, admire, and will never quit because you are jealous or spiteful or hateful and you treat me like shit, literally. You need a reality check, girl, because you have no business working there. You should be working at McDonald's. That's where you belong. So I want to clarify and I want to tell you this once and for all that if somebody is my friend, they're all over my social media. I am no friend of Yaying's. I know nothing about her. I don't know how many kids she has, husbands, ex-husbands, where she lives, what she likes, what she doesn't like. I know nothing about her. That's what a great essay she is because everything we talk about is me. That's how amazing she is. She will make me talk about me and me only and I feel amazing, I feel like a queen. So I give credit when credit is due. Now, my Cartier essay, Hannah, is my friend. The reason I'm not posting Cartier event is because I might have some news attached to that event. And as a friend, I cannot talk about those news yet. She is my friend. We hang out every week, every other week. 
at least. And she's all over my social media. Every lunch, every dinner, every drink we have is in my stories. She has been my essay for years. She is now my closest friend. It is normal, but it takes time. It takes time to develop that closeness. And even so, I do not get any preferential treatment from her because she's not going to jeopardize her work. This is ridiculous. This is nonsense. Like, what do you think is happening behind the scenes? What do you think Yayin can do? Is she a genie? Is she a superhero? No. Everybody has to follow the rules. And that's why I didn't want to post that video because I knew I was shooting myself in the foot. I knew that whenever I go back to that boutique, if somebody didn't even see the video, you know, when you hear about something, it sounds more dramatic than it really is. So let's say somebody spoke about my video, right? And had a question, hey, are you friends? Why is she talking so highly about you? Maybe because she's a good essay. Take her hat out of your ass because she makes your experience at the boutique about you. And that's what it should be. It shouldn't be like, oh, you're a burden. I don't want you here. You're taking my precious time away. Can you please write what you DM me under this video? Use somebody else's name. Use Jane Doe. Just leave a freaking comment because customers of Cameron are complaining about her in my DMs, but I don't want to show your names, guys. And I already said to several of you in my comments, in my DMs, to leave comments instead because that is helpful. I'm just going to tell you this to wrap up this video. This is a very important part of today's video, maybe the most important part of today's video. Yaying had nothing but great things to say about Cameron. She apologized. She said that it was her fault that she didn't clarify to Cameron how many pieces I wanted to see or if I wanted to see any pieces at all because, because she was driving and Cameron was so kind that she agreed to see me on such short notice, that she is absolutely wonderful, that she is so kind and so sweet and amazing and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yay. Stop. I have my DMs are full. It's not true. That's not what customers feel like. That's not what I feel like. And I know you're saying the right things, but they're not true. And she did say that I have the most wonderful content already, that I don't need to put myself in the middle of these things because I don't want to hurt myself in the long run. And I did tell her that this is my content. And I stand by it because I am entitled to post my reviews. I'm entitled to voicing my opinions, bringing light to things in the shadow, making people feel comfortable going to these boutiques, buying things, knowing a lot of information about their pieces. I have spent years researching this brand. Years. And I don't want you to repeat my mistakes. But also, I don't want you to have a negative experience like I have had. And I spoke to Alex and he said, why do you even care? This is a review. This is the same as you would write a review on Yelp or Google, except that one would have gotten her in trouble because that one would have been seen by the corporate and she would have been written up. I am not doing anything wrong. This is America. I am entitled to freedom of speech. Please, guys, leave your comments down below what you think about this whole situation. I am not on any friendly terms, strictly professional with Ye Ying. Oh, thank you so very much for watching this video. Give it a like. Give it a like because I had to jump in the shower, change my tampon, and sit here in pain. Tylenol hasn't kicked in yet. I am hyperventilating, I'm sweating. It's a very, very hard day for me, but I have to make sure that things are clear. Thank you for being here on a Tuesday. I'm posting this literally, I'm filming it and posting it right after. So let's get into it in the comments. So you can leave me comments and I'll be responding right away, as usual. And um, yeah, I'll see you Sunday with the unboxing. Bye guys.